Look! That's a cell phone! Someone dropped it beneath the t this tire! Is the car moving? It should be sh it would be surely- It would be crushed for sure! Huh, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. Probably not! How strange, Mr. Sickler. Can you explain why yourself was sitting here in my assistant's hand? Wait a minute, what is the meaning of this? This cell phone was found yesterday. And then Rackers Clinic Garage. Yeah, well, only two can fall fine. The Rackers! What? That's where the victim lived! Yeah, that's impossible! We don't have any evidence that we found that cell phone in the car, but yes, but whatever. Let's just continue with the game. It's not perfect. Let's just take it as is. Mr. Sigler, you lied to the court, didn't you? If your cell phone is here, how could you have to call the police? We are gonna make weird noises. People make weird noises in this game, seriously. It, it's true. I didn't have my cell phone that night. That's just why I can't be said that I called the police from my public payphone. Why you lied? Terrible, terrible person. A payphone, so you didn't call on your cell phone after all. Just where was this payphone located, Mr. Sigler? Well, to indicate it with a startling de high degree of accuracy, it was stretch around here. That's quite a ways from the park. But why did she lie? There can only be only one reason. He didn't want the court to know he had lost his cell phone. Because it was found in the victim's garage. But what are you saying? Mr. Stickler? You broke into my clinic garage on the night of the murder! This cell phone tells all! But, but that's ridiculous! That makes it sound like... Like I stuck into this fellow's garage to commit some crime! Awesome music! Oh, hold up. As though I was trying to, we're trying to kill him! Well, Dr. Marcus was killed that night. Well, well yes, but no, this is a lot of reasoning. It has to be against the rules! Yes, it's true. I lost the cell phone, but you can't prove that I lost it that night! Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Justice, did that cell phone was dropped the night of the murder? It does raise considerable suspicions as to your connection with the crime. Now, it's a chance to connect Mr. Sickler to the crime. Oh, he's already connected enough. I just have to prove it. Well, do I have a piece of evidence that can do the job? Can I prove the cell phone was dropped the night of the murder? Uh, yes. Show evidence. Of course I have evidence. Ooh, I like your swagger. Forehead, hit it. The court will see this evidence, Mr. Justice. Hit it, as they say. The evidence that proves the cell phone was dropped on the night of the murder is... The mirror! That's a side view mirror? As this so happens, Dr. Matthews' car was in an accident. That took place in the action of the murder. That in Phoenix, yes. An accident? An accident. It happened a little after 9 p.m. just outside of People Park, our murder scene. Dr. Marcus' car hit a pedestrian. Everything's connected, isn't it? Well, what are you trying to slay? From the absence of a mirror, it's clear that the car was parked after the accident, which means it was parked there after 9 p.m. the night of the murder. If your cell phone has been dropped before the car was parked in that garage, then it would have been crushed. Yep. After I was lying on the ground right under the wheel! Ergo, Mr. Sickler, the only time you could have dropped this in that garage was after 9 p.m. the night of the murder in the, in the park. Yarg! Kind of creepy when he has no eyes in his, no pupils in his eyes. Mr. Sickler, you know what this means? You did break into the victim's garage that night. This is most unexpected, Mr. Justice. Are you naming the witness of the suspect in the murder of Palmeractus? No, no, stop! This is too much! This can't be happening! B -b 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 Prosecutors, say something! I suppose it is worth saying this. No connection has been found between Wesley Stickler and Palmeractus. That is, other than this. I believe our next move will be most revel revelatory. Is the witness prepared? Y yes Your Honor! I know that face. That's the face of guilt! Stickler said truth. In quotations. That night, yes, I went to the supermarket. I must have dropped my cell phone on my way back. And when I was walking through the park, I happened to witness the crime. I, I saw the killer, the victim, the stand. All, all as clear as day. I was him. I saw the defendant at the scene. 
Yes, but your cell phone was lying in a garage. Ah, yes. Well, as you can see, my model cell phone has a defect. It is given to rolling. It's quite a pain when I drop it along the road, you know. Why don't you buy a new one? It looks like a normal cell phone to me. It's pink. How normal that is that? And no watch on it. Jeez. In any case, Mr. Justice across the mission, please. That's funny. My bracelet didn't react at all during that testimony, so he's not lying. The service habit must not be acting up. I didn't sense anything either, actually. Looks like you're on your own this time around. Right, no problem. I hope. Here comes Justice. That night, as I went to the supermarket, I must have dropped by a kill phone to my way back. And when I was walking through the park, I happened to walk into the crime. I saw the killer of the victim on the stand all as clear as day. Press him! This part of the testimony is the key, I knew it! Should I press him about the killer of the victim or the noodle stand? Mmm, well, we know the killer is, well, the killer is, well, we don't know if he's the killer, but... Yeah, walkie tacky victim. We know he's the reaction victim, but let's talk about the new descent because we never talked about the new descent before, so we need to talk about the new descent. <sighs> so I guess I'm saying new descent. Hmm. Noodle sand, noodle sand, noodle sand. Do you happen to remember the noodle sand? Quite well, yes. For a student of the sciences, keen observation helped these cross. They are vital. I remember everything. I could even read a sign. I believe it said, er, noodle. Yes, that was it. Remembering something quite well, it sure took you a while to tell us. And thank you for telling us that Noodle Stang sells noodles very enlightening. Well, Mr. Justice? Uh, what about that sign? Could that be important? Sure, very important. Noodles are awesome. Whatever. So the sign on the Noodle Stang said noodle? It appears the fence has just obtained a vile piece of egg testimony. Is this Noodle Stang's broth really that delicious? I'll have to go sample the wares one of these days. Don't go, Judge! You're gonna get, like... High blood pressure from eating so much salt in those noodles because they'll do make some really salty. They could kill you. Whatever. I think that's worth adding to this morning as well. Ha! <laughs> Whatever such a noodles that stands sells them can't match up to Ivy used cafeteria. So I'm applied to the school merely for a taste of her smart noodles. I don't mind a taste of that myself. Me too! I want some too! Okay, whatever. Why? Even the sign of the stand the victim was pulling, it said noodle. Press them on that for fun. So the sign said noodle. Are you absolutely sure? What is he looking at in this book? I'm serious. I don't see any words in it. Let me be frank. Yes. In fact, the word unsure is even my dictionary, not the word uncertain or. Because he was wasting time looking that stuff up! Okay, that's what that was he doing. Noodle, eh? I like that. It tells you what you're getting. No nonsense. It tells me a lot more than that, actually. What are you smiling about, Apollo? Oh my gosh! She's the exact same thing I just, I just said. What are you smiling about, Apollo? Jeez. I play this game too much, probably. Let's see myself on the fan of the scene. Okay, let's go to the evidence box. You know the noodle stand, the big noodle stand that we stick in the court record? Stand was facing like this. But do you see what it says? It says Aldoon. Objection. Objection. I'm rejecting your objection though. And you're absolutely sure the sign read noodle? Why, just last week my professor offered me this praise. At least you have good eyesight, Stickler. I'll give you that. It read without a doubt a noodle. Uh, when you hear the music stops when you're objecting something, that means you got it right. If the music keeps on going, that means you got it wrong, and you will get penalized. Uh, the penalized uh, penalty thing is on the top right screen, but you can't see it right now because we're not in the place where you need when you can see it. Uh, when you make a mistake, that goes down by like one fifth and stuff, and then but other times it'll be uh, worth more. Um, the penalty, and if you get down zero, you get a game over. So, save often. It's just saving before you had to present something, <laughs> just in case. I see. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is that pity I see in your eyes? Let's take a look at our map, shall we? He has a smug look on his face. Oh, isn't it great? Oh, he's confident. So, you're claiming that when you saw the sign, you were standing. Here, was it? 
Although, it would have been a bit hard to read the sign from the spot. You, you think so? Mr. Sickler, I'll let you to please take another look at the stand. I need to carefully read what the sign says. See, the sign actually says the sign name of the stand's owner. Okay, we were at the park showing him, or is, maybe there's a photograph. I don't know, but that's kind of weird. L Dunes. L Dunes Noodles! Do do do! I'll oh, shut up. L Inconceivable! I'm certain it was definitely a noodle for sure. Positive! I'm afraid your professor was wrong with that eyesight. I wouldn't be so quick to jump to that conclusion. The sign saw changes everything. The witness says, the sign said noodle. And he saw it right. What would you say if I told you that there is one spot from which the sign would be read the way Mrs. Sichter claims? And no, it's not with the mirror. That's what I thought when I first played it. Because <laughs> it was to look funny if it's a mirror, because the worst one would be um, reflected correctly. <laughs> what? This is just a show us the spot. The witness actually viewed the stand from this location. <sighs> yeah, I'm not. You had to put it on the other side, the um, the north side, the opposite side of the studio side. The witness was standing here on the opposite side. How did you know that? Okay, I don't know where they got the big noodle stand here, but yeah, it's in the court record. For some reason, this big junk hunking thing is in the court record. A view from the south. The sign on the stand reads L. Dunes, as we know. However, Oh, so the other side of the stand. Oh, the sign says Noodle. Exactly, the name of the stand is split between the front and the back signs. Mr. Sickler, you lies to the court. You witnessed the crime from the northern side of the park, not the south. Yeah, you, you got me. So what? So what? What does it matter if you saw the killing from the north or the south side? It makes no difference at all. Makes no difference. I gotta stop singing. The leap ages are so awesome. Whatever. He's right. Travel far enough to the s enough to the south, you will end up going north. If you don't go the directions are utterly without meaning. Actually, maybe he's right. What does it change? It changes everything, Apollo. Juicy read Apollo's mind. Juicy and yeah, Juicy's smart than smarter than Apollo. Remember his testimony from before? Though to be honest, I'm a little scared of where this is leading. Don't worry, Juicy. Everything will come out soon enough. Though it is kind of scary. Hee! <laughs> 3D! Whee! The killer and the victim are facing each other here. Then, at the moment, the killer raises his weapon. Mrs. Sigler shouts. At which point, the victim turns his head to look. And the killer fires his pistol. That's why the bullet hit him in the right temple. No contradictions, right? Right. But if Mr. Sigler was standing on the north side of the park, that reverses the whole scenario. It seems kind of sounds kind of complicated, but not really. Completely. If Mr. Sigler shouts from where he is now, and the victim looks in his direction. The bullet would, would have to hit his left temple. Ha! Oh, oh! In other words, someone standing at the point at point K couldn't shoot the victim in this right temple. It's impossible. That's right. So now that we know that Mr. Sigler was standing on the northern side, the wound location takes on an entirely different meaning. Indeed, you are absolutely correct, Franai. But what meaning? The entry wound was on the right side of the victim's head, correct? Well, the right side of the victim's head is north. North? Ah! But that's where the witness, Wesley Stigler, was standing. Correct. So if he was standing to the north, then the only person who had shot the victim in the right temple was Mr. Stigler himself. I really don't want to shout like this, Ben. I'm serious. This is really weird. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! The apple didn't fall far from the tree. She's put this whole case on the set while I was still figuring it out. Juicy is smart. She is definitely Phoenix Wright's daughter. And I love her. Whatever. Objective. 